So it is really hard, especially when you don't have a, a large data set. So if you only have one or two salespeople, um, I think the most important thing you can do is at least have two salespeople. So mm -hmm. they're not 100% dependent on one person doing the selling. Mm -hmm. So that you at least solve for the variable if maybe you have uh, an underperforming salesperson. Mm -hmm. um, then on an enterprise sales cycle, you know these can take, in our case, three to nine months. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's every step from getting an NDA signed all the way to implementation and going to production. And so there's, in our case, about 15 different steps in that buying cycle. And these are all sort of micro commitments that the, uh, our seller or us as a company is making to the customer and the customer is making to us. And these take a, take a while to figure out. So um, over time, I think every company's sales process is unique and actually can be a huge competitive advantage for a company as well if you understand you know, how your customer wants to buy your product uh, deeply. Um, but yeah, over time you start uh, initially, it's more of a, um, uh, the, the seller's job is actually trying to figure out what is the process that will mm -hmm. ultimately get this product sold mm -hmm. and figure out in that sort of maze of all these different routes you could take, which ones work, which ones don't, right? And um, that, uh, I think the key thing is those learnings initially come just to that seller, right? Mm -hmm. But eventually, you actually want all those learnings to end up in your CRM system mm -hmm. or in a process where you can actually execute systematically with every new seller, execute on that process, and you continue sort of innovating and improving that.